Welcome to the Hydrometry and Telemetry Foundation ADCP introduction. Here we'll find an example of a flow gauging conducted by two of our HT officers as part of their routine work. Arriving on site, our two officers must establish the current level of the river, or stage. This must be done at the start and finish of any gauging. To attain our starting stage, we dip from a known datum either into a stilling well or from an established external point. The stage is calculated by minusing the dip value from the datum to give us an accurate river level which we record on our electronic field logs as well as our gauging software. The officers also download and quality assure any logging equipment. This is good practice on any site visit. Before gauging, our officers check the connection to the ADCP from the field computer and check all communications. They assemble and check all equipment, cables, batteries and mounts. Take care to take spare batteries for all equipment. They also check the condition of the transducer face against any damage. With most forms of stream flow gauging, the best site will have a straight approach channel, relatively uniform depth and no weed in the channel or banks, as an ADCP cannot bottom track accurately if it does not receive a clear and direct acoustic signal from the riverbed. After their checks, the officers conduct a moving bed test. The normal moving boat measurements, all water speeds measured by the ADCP are referenced to the riverbed using bottom tracking capabilities. Once gauging, do a minimum of four transects, two in each direction under steady flow conditions. The measured discharge is the average of the discharges from the four transects. If the discharge for any of the four transects differs by more than 5% from the mean discharge, do a minimum of four additional transects. The average of the eight transects is the measured discharge. Take three minutes for each transect of the river. If the river is extremely wide, over 50 meters, then go slower. Keep the path of the ADCP transect as close as possible to being perpendicular to the direction of flow. It's best if you follow the same transect line on each outgoing and incoming crossing of the river. Stop the ADCP pinging when the gauging exercise is complete. It helps if you can quickly review the collected data before leaving site. And remember, the more good quality information about the gauging you can record, the better.